Hello everyone, Johnny here and welcome back to another video. Now today's video I'm going to be showing you what it'd be like if boys and girls roles were reversed or like if boys did what girls done if girls done what boys done. Basically, you get the gist. If you're new around here, please smash that big subscribe button. Also smash the like button, it means a lot. Now the t-shirt I'm wearing is actually new merch that isn't out yet, yeah? It comes in white, comes in black, so stay locked for that. But yeah, but further ado, let's get into the video. Right, so the first thing I wanna talk about is physical contact, yeah? If a girl hits a man, okay, wait, before we get into all of this, yeah, I'm talking about how it is in society. These aren't all my opinions on like how stuff is. Like this is, this is fact, this is just how it's viewed in society, yeah? So don't come at me. It's just, I just, listen, if you don't like dark humour and you get offended easily, click off now, please. Thank you. But yeah, the first thing I want to talk about is physical contact, yeah? If a girl hits a man, it's not really viewed as that deep. Like, it should be, in it, Like, because there are men that get abused in relationships like that. But, like, it's not really viewed as that deep. It's not. But then you switch the roles. If a man wants to hit a woman the way that a girl could hit a man, way different reaction. If you hit a bird and you're a geezer, I can't lie, you're utter coward and you're just a scumbag. So you're not going to explain this then, no? I explain what? Babe, calm down, there's people watching. I don't give a f if there's people watching. You liked another girl's picture. What, is that why you're so mad? It's literally just a like. Oh, f off. Oh, yeah, you piece of shit. What the f I do? You trying to f No, of course not. Now stop, you're causing a scene. Oh. Oh, so. I actually loved last night, you know, it was so much fun. I know, wasn't it? Especially when your old man kept taking the piss out of your massive forehead. Oh, shut up, you. He's teased me about that all my life. He was meant to back me. What? When it's true? I'll leave it out. Oh, f off. I'm only joking. I know, I know. Oi! Um, what? Like assaulting women, do ya? What? What are you going on about, mate? You just put your hands on her? What? Make you feel like a big man, does it? Assaulting a woman? Uh, mate, it's my girlfriend and I, I literally just lightly shoved her as a joke. Sir, I, I appreciate your concern, but honestly, I'm fine. Don't f***ing defend him! You sick man, manipulating her to be so scared she can't even admit that you f***ing hit her. Don't worry, love, I'm here now. What? Bruv, are you alright? I, I never even laid a thing on her. I never have. Literally, all I've done was this. <laughs> oh, mate, please stop. It's not like that. You dirty woman of yours. Stop! Please, someone help me! I'm trying to teach him a lesson for laying his hands on a woman. Now stay out of it. There's no excuse for what he's done. You thought I was done, you prick. I f***ing hate. Now the next scenario I want to talk about, yeah, is sleeping with people. As a boy, if you're out here, in whatever, you're seen as a chap, to be fair. Like, if you've got a high body count, you're seen as a chap. Like, you can see with anyone, anything, and no one really cares. But if you're a girl, and you're just going round out here, sleeping with anyone, whatever, then... Yeah, you're not going to be taken seriously by a lot of boys. Go on. Go on. Oh, why did you pass it to him? <laughs> you're shit, bruv. Oof. Fucking hell. She's a good old chopper. <laughs> she must be. You was only in there five minutes. She fit. Nah, she's a fucking dog. But still a beat though, innit? What's that? Three new things this week now? <laughs> you're active, bruv. Word. I'm trying to be like you, cuz. <laughs> and even at all, to be fair, she's janked by a slag, so we move. All right, back with me real quick. Hey, sorry, babe, you're gonna have to go, you know. My pal's got asthma and he's forgot his inhaler. I'm gonna have to take him to the hospital to get a new one, innit, Jack? <sighs> yeah. See? Oh, but I've just got it. I know, such a shame, but literally, what can I do? He can't breathe. Anyways, book a cab. <phone rings> oh, sorry, babe, I've gotta go. I've gotta get my mum from the station. Oh, okay. Um, would you like to drop me home? Ah, not really. It's kind of the other way and I don't want to keep her waiting, innit? Okay, no worries. It's fine. I'll just get my brother to grab me. Okay, sweet. Just remember to close the door behind you, yeah? Of course. I'm not stupid. Love you. Love you. See you later. Hello? 
Uh, can you pick me up from Charlie's, please? I can't get home. A few moments later. Hi, thank you for grabbing me. He's in a bit of a rush. What? You make me sick. I'm sorry? You f***ed him, didn't you? What? Well, don't lie, Katie. I can smell the sex on you. I know you f***ed him. What? So what if I did? He's my boyfriend. I don't care. It's too soon. Oh, for f***'s sake. Oh, man. How's my sister turn out to be a slag? Oi, I'm not a slag. Don't call me that. That's literally the first time I've ever put out for him. I haven't made him wait four months. It's, he does deserve it. Exactly. Four months. Is that it? What are you, a brass? I'm sorry, but I don't know how you're judging me. What about the girls you bring home all the time? You barely know them. Yeah, so? They're slags. I'm never going to take them seriously, am I? No, no one's going to take you seriously because you're a f***ing whore. <laughs> well, Charlie does. He don't care about you. Oh, yeah? Well, how come he just voiced that at me now, then? <laughs> Hi, babe. Sorry to say this, but um, I think we should break up. I don't know, man. I just ain't really feeling it anymore. Plus, you're sleeping with me bare quick, like four months. What are you, a brass? Plus, after me, your body count's now one, not zero, so I thought you was my wife and that. But I guess you belong to the streets. Anyways, bye. Never contact me again. Oh, unless you want to fuck in it. See, man, I told you, I told you. I know what boys think. Oh, why my sister, man? Oh, why man. mine? Why does mine have to become a Jezebel? Oh, fuck's sake. Now, I'm not saying girls can't do this. I'm just saying, this is how it's viewed in society, like, even in the skit, like, like me personally, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't just sleep with a five just to get, get a beat, like, I wouldn't do that, like, I've got standards in it, like, I don't care about my body count, like, I'd rather make it not go up if I'm just gonna sleep with some dead thing, like, I'm not doing that, bro. But, like, in society, like, that's how it's viewed, like, a lot of boys are like that, oh, yeah, it's just a f***ing, let me get my numbers up, cringe, but that's the way it is. Right, and the next scenario I want to talk about, yeah, is quite a specific one, but I thought of it, and kind of this is what kind of fueled the whole video like idea um, because it just made me think yeah like imagine that actually happening so you know when a woman is talking to a baby like someone else's baby or kid they can say the most loving happy cute things to them and it's just seen as normal because they're 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 women are motherly womenly women are caring they're not seen as anyone like dodgy you know what i mean but imagine if a grown man just imagine it imagine if a grown man went up to someone else's baby and said the same things what women do to kids. I don't know. I think it'd be a bit different reaction, isn't it? Like, I'm sure I've actually heard, heard birds say to kids that are, oh, when he's old, he could be my boyfriend. Why is that seen as okay? Why is that actually seen as okay? Because if you deep it, yeah, it's borderline nonsense. If a geezer said that to a little baby girl, oh, when she grows up, would you want to be my girlfriend? You'd think, Una, what? Like, Is this your new little one then, or is it your nephew or something? Nope, he's all mine, little troublemaker. I thought you knew. Oh wow, amazing. And well, no, I haven't seen you in about, what must it be, three years now? Yeah, about that. Oh yeah, see, I, I had no idea. Oh, go on, let me see him. Ah, oh, isn't he cute? And handsome. You're right, he's gonna be a right little player of all the girls, isn't he? <laughs> I know, I told you. <laughs> Ah, oh, isn't he adorable? I just want to kiss ya. <laughs> Do you want to be my boyfriend when you grow up? <laughs> Oi, don't you start him off. I reckon he's got a thing for older ladies. Oi, you! Ah, <laughs> oh, it's adorable. I just want to eat him up. I just want to give you loads of kisses. Ah, <laughs> oh, but no, you should be proud. Sorry, Doc. So, um, just explain it to me one more time, please. So, basically, Jack, what it is, is you have a rare condition almost opposite to erectile dysfunction. Mm -hmm. Basically, you won't be able to keep your penis down. Oh, right. Um, is that such a bad thing? Ha, who knows? Also, you will get random erections out of the blue and they won't go down, they'll be hard as a rock. But if you just take the tablets I prescribed to you, they'll be coming tomorrow, uh, you should be fine. Okay, thanks doc. I'll start them tomorrow. Excellent. Goodbye now. Yeah, bye. <sighs> oh. Um, excuse me, love. Sorry, excuse me. Um, sorry, love. Uh, 
you drop this? Oh, thank you so much. I wouldn't have even noticed. My head being all busy with my baby and all. No worries. Um, how old is he? Or she? <laughs> she is eight months old. She's the right little drama queen, I tell ya. Ah, isn't she cute? I can tell she's gonna get all the boys when she grows up. You wanna watch her? <laughs> yeah, I guess. Oh, aren't you beautiful? <laughs> I bet you'd be my girlfriend. Oh, I could just eat her up. Oh, you're so gorgeous. I just want to give you loads of kisses. No! Huh? I said no! Get back, you came wrong and... What? What are you talking about? I, I ain't a wrong and I was just talking to your baby. Help! Help! What? No, no. I I I'm sorry. I don't understand what I've meant to done wrong. Get away from me and my baby, you... It's sick, twisted, kitty fiddler! Kitty fiddler? What? I, I'm not a nonce. What are you going on about? Oh yeah? Well explain that then! Explain what? Oh god, god, no, no, oh, oh, honestly, it, it, it's not what it looks like I can explain! <laughs> Help! He's trying to take my baby away from me! No, I, I, I promise, I promise, I, I, I'm not wrong with it, oh, honestly, it, it's, it's the condition I have, I, I can get on the phone to my doctor and prove it! Help! He's a registered sex offender! I just looked it up! What? Did, no, you're just making things up! You please help me! No, I... I, I Alright, come in! Right now, the fourth and final situation I want to talk about is getting into places. If you are a female, bro, you have such an advantage to get in anywhere over a man. I swear to God. Let's do, do an example. The club or a bar. If you're a girl, you've got, I'd say, 80% more chance of getting in than a man. Just because of your gender. Hi, you're right. Sorry, girls. You're too late. Club's full. What? But all our friends are in there. Sorry, love. No can do. I don't make the rules. I just follow them. Oh, oh, I knew we wouldn't get in. I don't get it. I don't know why they won't let me in. I'm always letting they let me in. Oh, that's why. I still got my jacket on. Yeah. So? Listen, boo. Just do your jacket down so everyone can see your tits. Why? Just do it. Trust me. Excuse me. Listen, girls. I told you. Yeah. Is there no way we can get in now, Daddy? Please? Uh, um... Yeah. Ah, yeah, sure, why not? Two young ladies like yourself ain't gonna hurt. Go on, girls. <laughs> Thanks, baby. Come on, dude. Thanks. Fucking hell. That was so easy, wasn't it? Now let's do the exact same thing all night to get free drinks off boys. <laughs> You know what, mate? Sorry, mate, club's full. What? But last entry ain't for another two hours. I don't care. I've told ya. The club's full. But uh, all my friends are in there, and it's only me. Are you deaf or something? I've already told ya. There's too many boys in there. You ain't getting in. Now piss off. But. Oh, that's so annoying, man. I was bare looking forward to tonight. I don't know why I can't get in. Girls always get let in when they're late. What do they do different? Think, think. Oh, that's it. They flash their tits. Huh. Right. Oi, right, mate. How about now? Anyways, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Please take none of this too seriously. It's a light-hearted video for a bit of entertainment. Ugh, just, I don't know what I'm saying. But yeah, just please try not to get offended. Allow it. As you can see, when a new merch is not out yet, but we'll have a release date very soon. So keep your eyes peeled if you want to cop some of that and support me. Subscribe today, Johnny Kesrami, and yeah, goodbye.